Apple has officially announced the cancellation of their highly anticipated Apple glasses that were supposed to be revealed sometime in 2024. Apple's plans for virtual reality and augmented reality are currently the subjects of much speculation in the tech industry. Reports from Bloomberg's Mark Gurman made two claims about the company's VRAR strategy. The first claim is that work on Apple glasses has been put on hold. The second claim is that Apple is trying to trim the cost of its second-generation mixed-reality headset, which will be cheaper than the first-generation model. The first claim that work on Apple glasses has been put on hold is likely to be inaccurate. The report from Bloomberg suggested that the focus on the second-generation VR headset means there will be a delay in the development of Apple glasses. However, this makes little sense as the skills required to reduce the cost of a planned product are very different from the skills needed to develop a new piece of technology. Rumors have it that Apple has been working on these Apple glasses since 2017, but it wasn't until the announcement of the iPad Pro and iPhone 12 in 2021 when Apple introduced the LiDAR sensor on their devices that we were starting to see Apple's interest in AR technology. The LiDAR sensor on the iPhone and iPad Pro series enhances AR experiences by providing accurate and fast depth sensing. This has led to a plethora of new AR features and apps for both devices. Additionally, iOS 15 has introduced more AR abilities like Street View AR and the new live text feature that has the ability to copy and paste or even translate text from a photo. There is also a new feature called Visual Lookup that uses machine learning and AI to give the user information on various objects, places, animals, and plants in their pictures. I think you get the point here. So let's now look at how much these Apple glasses are likely to cost. Reports suggest that Apple glasses will cost around $499, and of course, that doesn't include any prescription lens charges to alter the glass lenses if needed. The Apple glasses will be able to display information on both lenses, with the user controlling them by gestures. Unlike the mixed reality headset, the processing for the glasses will be handled by a connected iPhone, keeping the glasses lightweight and compact. Another thing that these Apple glasses will not have is cameras. Apple is opting for LiDAR sensors to track hands and gestures instead. This choice was made due to security concerns, as users don't want to feel like they're being recorded. It is worth mentioning that there won't be a sunglasses version, as AR features cannot work on tinted lenses. Also, the information displayed on the lenses will not be visible to people looking at the wearer. Finally, Apple is reporting developing a Steve Jobs edition featuring the same frame as the iconic glasses worn by the company's founder, which could be sold at a premium. Beyond all these rumors, Apple has been acquiring companies developing AR technologies, like Spaces, a VR startup that got its start as a DreamWorks animation project. The appearance of recent Apple patents related to AR technology, reports of eye injuries among employees working on a prototype unit at Apple's headquarters, and the company's strategic acquisition of AR firms all point towards the development of Apple's own AR product. The patents detail the use of lenses to cast images directly into the user's eye and explore the possibility of using an iPhone or iPad as the processing unit for the AR experience. So, Apple is definitely working on a new piece of AR technology. The primary reason for the delay in the development of Apple glasses is technical difficulties. The company wanted to develop lightweight AR glasses that would provide digital information overlaid on the real world, similar to Google Glass. However, Apple has been unable to develop the necessary hardware to produce a lightweight wearable that has the power of an iPhone and enough battery life to run it. The company initially wanted to release the Apple glasses in 2024, but the launch now has been postponed indefinitely. Rumors have it that some Apple employees do not believe that the company will ever ship AR glasses due to the complexity of the device. The second claim is likely to be correct, as the first-generation Apple Mixed Reality headset is expected to be expensive, with a price tag of around $3,000. This mixed reality headset is designed with advanced technology that comes at a premium price point. The headset will be built utilizing premium materials, ensuring durability and a high-end feel. 
The displays have ultra-high resolution, providing a crystal clear and vivid experience. Additionally, the headset is equipped with at least 10 cameras, which provide precise tracking and interactivity. It also features an M2 processor, ensuring top-notch performance for even the most demanding mixed reality applications. All of these features come together to make the headset a premium device, justifying its higher cost. And because of that, many are saying that Apple is making one of the most, if not the most sophisticated headset on the market. The mixed reality headset is said to have new beaming technology, allowing AR and VR content to be directly projected into the user's retinas. Apple is also bringing two high-resolution 4K micro OLED displays with up to 3,000 pixels per inch, which will be the highest resolution display ever featured in a mass market product. For comparison, the MetaQuest 2 only has 773 pixels per inch. The headset will have over 10 cameras placed inside and outside the headset for eye tracking, object tracking, and hand gesture controls to provide a more realistic and interactive experience. This highly anticipated Apple Mixed Reality headset is set to revolutionize the way we experience digital content after seven years of development. According to Mark Gurman, Apple is going to introduce it sometime this spring, with a projected launch date in March or April. Later, at the Worldwide Developer Conference, otherwise known as WWDC, Apple will showcase its cutting-edge new operating system known as XROS, designed specifically for the Mixed Reality headset, enabling developers to create immersive Mixed Reality experiences. Consumer release for the headset is set for the holiday season, ushering in a new era of Mixed Reality for the masses. The second-generation headset is expected to be significantly cheaper and target a larger audience. Reports suggest that Apple is concerned about the likely high cost of the second headset, and engineers are exploring ways to reduce costs, including lowering the resolution of the displays and using fewer external cameras. Other cost-saving measures include using slower processors, eliminating internal fans, and requiring manual adjustments for interpupillary distance. The company is also exploring other ways to eliminate components on the device such as moving the battery pack into the headband, using cheaper materials for the physical shell, and eliminating the custom H2 wireless chip. According to a Mark Gurman report, the cheaper headset will be called the Apple Reality One. This mixed reality headset is reportedly the price of a high-end iPhone, so around $1,500, and Apple is set to achieve this by making the new headset out of less premium materials. We have seen Apple do this in the past with some products where they come with a monster of a first-generation product, whether it's the iPad or iPhone, and after the usual popularity surge, Apple then releases another product that's like 80% as good, made of less premium materials for a much lower price. Despite delays, Apple will be doing everything in their power to ensure the development of the AR glasses and will make sure that their mixed reality headset hits the market before the 2023 holiday season. Needless to say, with this kind of tech and these kind of features, Apple has invested a lot of money into these products, and with such a hefty price tag, they're certainly taking a real gamble. Whether that gamble pays off, however, remains to be seen. Given recent advancements, it raises the question of what features can be anticipated from the mixed reality headsets and the possibility of Apple launching AR glasses in the near future. Leave me a comment and tell me which of these two products you are most eager to buy.